Good afternoon. Welcome to this networking activity and thank you for your interest in Ternio Spring Industry Project. My name is Rita Riva and I'm the project manager of Ternio Spring. I don't know if all of you, of the people participating today, knows about Ternio Spring. The objective of, of today is not to explain the regulation of the 20, 2021 call and the program itself. Our objective for today is to create an environment of networking and put in contact the two parts of a technical project, the host institution in Catalonia and the researcher. I'm just going to explain in two minutes what is Tenio Spring and its objectives, so you can understand why we are organizing such activity. Tenio Spring Industry is the Axio Talent Program funded by the European Union, thanks to Horizon 2020, Maria Slavoska Curie Actions. We give a, a hundred percent financial support to hire for two years an experienced researcher to develop and apply research and oriented market project in a Catalan host institution. The researcher must be identified before submitting the proposal, as the curriculum of the researcher is a criteria for the evaluation. The proposal must be jointly prepared by the host institution and the researcher. The Catalan host institution can be a company, a technological center, Eurecat or Laitat, or a techno center. You will find the list of techno centers in Axio web page, or also if you go to Google and you uh, write techno developers Axio, there is the information in English about the techno centers. The researcher to hire must be, as I said before, an experienced researcher, but it can be from all over the world. This person must have a PhD degree plus two years of research experience after the PhD, or at least six years of research experience after the studies that give access to the PhD. In addition, as is an European uh, project, he or she must accomplish with the European mobility rule. That is, not have live or work more than 12 months in the last three years in the country where he or she will spend the first year of the project. The new spin has two modalities of projects, incoming and ongoing plus return. The incoming, the researchers is working during the two years of the project in the Catalan host institution. For the coin plus return modality, the researcher is working the first years in a tech company or university or R&D center in another country out of Spain. And the second year, he or she is coming back to, to the Catalonian uh, institution to work and finish the project in Catalonia. I recommend you to look in our Tenure Spring web page, where you will find all the information in relation with this call, the call that will open now in 2021. Uh, the call will open the 1st April and will close the 15th June. Uh, if you are interested in our program, and I recommend you to start working as soon as possible. As for the moment, we don't have any plan to publish a call in the 2022nd. So for the moment, it seems the last opportunity. <laughs> the objective of today is that the Catalan host institution that wish to submit a proposal for the 2021 call, but still don't have a researcher to carry out the project, present their vacancy or need with the objective to attract a possible candidate to submit, to submit a joint proposal. You will find also in our website all the vacancies that we are presenting here today. But you will find also other vacancies that they are not presenting here today because it's not possible that all the vacancies that we have published, they present today. To the public objective for today are researchers that wish to find a Catalan host institution. If you don't find the host institution of your interest among the project that we present today, we recommend you to visit our webpage, but also 
to publish your vacancy in our website, as there is also a special page dedicated to the researchers to publish their curriculum or their interest. We hope you find this networking activity interesting. We are open to your suggestions and comments. Uh, for my side, this is all. Uh, now my colleague, Natalia Nicolau, will introduce the, the speakers of today. I hope you enjoy the, show, the session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rita, for your words. Thank you to the attendees being here today. And of course, thank you to the host entities participating in this vacancies event. I am Natalia Nicola, International Innovation Project Manager in Axio, and I will be conducting the today's vacancy session. Uh, however, other members of the technician team, like Rita, Laura, Pilar, and Pablo, are here at your disposal to answer questions that may arise during the event. Um, 19 vacancies coming from 17 Catalan entities, including companies and research centers, will be presented today, uh, focusing on finding the best researcher for their available positions. So the vacancies has been classified in four main areas, and we will start with the area of health and life sciences, then it will come chemistry, energy and resources, and then sustainable mobility, and last but not least, industrial systems and design industries. So presenters will start with a brief introduction of the company or research center, and, there, and then we'll proceed is putting a on the profile of the researcher that better suits their vacancy. So your researchers will have a clue if you fulfill the position requirements. I would like to remember to all presenters that you have three minutes to present your vacancy. So you will see a stopwatch in the slide that will help you controlling the remaining time during your presentation. Also a message to the researchers, you will be able to post your questions through the Q&A system to the presenters in order to find out more interesting details about each project. And at the end of each section's presentations, the presenters may be available to answer the questions as well. So we will be very happy if you raise your questions via the chat text in the platform. Uh, being that said, I think we can start with the first presentation in the section of health and life sciences. I will share my screen right now. I hope all of you can see my presentation. And we will start uh, with the section of health and life sciences and with Santi Segui from Data Science, Universitat de Barcelona. Go ahead, Santi, thank you very much. Thank you, Natalia. Uh, okay, hi, hi everyone, I'm Santi Segui from the University of Barcelona and Data Science Technio Center. And I will present here our position, so our proposal. This is an outgoing and incoming grant. Our collaboration partner is Corporate Health International, which is, which is a company, a small company located in Scotland that provides services to hospitals. So the accepted candidate will spend one year in Inverness, Scotland, and come back to Barcelona to work with our research group at the University of Barcelona. So the goal of this project is to enhance uh, the wireless capsule endoscopy with artificial intelligence. So the wireless capsule endoscopy is a small pill cam of the size of an aspirin, which is ingested by the patient and it records its travel from the mouth until to the anus. So the captured images are then downloaded to into a workstation where the medical experts need to revise all of them in order to look for pathologies. So the, the capsule has been widely accepted in the medical community because of its advantages, but it has a big trouble. The obtained videos are very long. Uh, they can be up to eight hours with more than 500,000 images to be analyzed. So medical experts need to analyze this video and detect any present dysfunction. 
So here our main goal is to detect polyps because um, polyps are precursors of cancers, which are really important to be detected in the early stages. So the, pol the problem of detecting polyps is that they are really difficult. They can be present in one or two frames from, from the full video. So this, there is no doubt that this is a tedious and complex uh, task for the physicians that requires a lot of time. So our main goal in this project is to, to enhance, as I said before, to enhance the capsule with artificial intelligence in order to help the physicians with the task. We do, we do not aim to create a fully automated system, but a system that it interacts with the medical experts and help them uh, reducing the time and also improving the, the capabilities in, order, in detecting the, everything is, what is there. We currently have a model that is able to detect polyps and a web application that the me medical experts can use. Uh, but for sure, it needs to be improved year, day after day. So we look for a researcher in the field of artificial intelligence. The candidate must hold a PhD in computer science or mathematics or any research uh, close related field. Uh, the um, in math has a strong background in machine learning and uh, knowledge in deep learning models and uh, python will be great so i think that time is over yeah time <laughs> is over santi <laughs> yeah you can add something else if you need it it's okay okay so thank you very much santi uh uh, now it's uh, Aina Soria from Science Biotechnologies who present. Hello, uh, thank you very much, uh, Natalia. Uh, my name is Aina Soria from Science Biotechnologies. I'm the project manager of a biotech company which is set in Barcelona, and we uh, we coordinate and provide scientific services to the community researcher. Uh, and also biotech companies and pharmaceutical laboratories. We are focused on liver cells and in particular, we are expert in human liver cells. For this, uh, for this call, for this project, we are looking for a candidate, uh, for an incoming candidate that besides all the technosprene requirements also holds a PhD in bioscience with in-depth knowledge of molecular biology and cell culture and expertise in human liver cells. Uh, also, it will be a set if this person has experience of or knowledge uh, in NAFLE, NASH, non-parenchyma cells and liver pools. This is because uh, we have noticed that the in vitro liver models currently available have two, two main drops drawbacks that are the, back, uh, the lack of inter-individual variability present of the general population due to uh, the use of single uh, models with single donors, which means that the cells are the, from the same origin, and also uh, that the use of single cell type models fail to recreate the in vivo interaction between the cells that coexist in the, in the liver, in the tissue. In this regard, with this proposal, we aim to create a novel product that combines both conditions by integration, integrating the greater representativeness of the population through the use of cells from multiple donors, and also to mimic the in vivo condition uh, using the co-culture that would include the hepatocytes and also different proportions of uh, non-parenchymal cells. Therefore, the, the candidate will face the challenge to investigate and define the appropriate protocols and techniques to develop this new product and also to define the combination and confrontation of its cell type, not only to produce a healthy um, model, but also it can produce a, a, a disease model in a pool. If succeed, this, um, this product would uh, would uh, promote uh, the advances in drug discovery, 
drug development, uh, hepatic toxicity, and also physiology studies. And also, it will reduce the time and resources that are nowadays spent in pharmacological and biomedical research. And I think that's all. So if, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you later. Thank you. Thank you very much, Aina. Okay, so now uh, we will give the floor to Meritje Tashido from Gate to Pain. Thanks, Natalia. So I'm, I'm Mary Chael Tashido. I'm the CEO and CSO of Gate to Brain, that it's a company biotech that is based in Barcelona and was set up last July. So we are a young biotech company and we try to improve the delivery of drugs to the brain by using the technology that was developed at, in Barcelona, in the University of Barcelona at IRB during 15 years and now it's part of the company. With this technology that is stepped at base, we try to improve the delivery to the brain of drugs that cannot reach the brain alone. Our first compound, that is G2B001, tries to send to the brain a chemotherapeutic agent to try to fight against a pediatric brain tumor. That's why San Juan de Deo Pediatric Hospital is also involved, involved in all the project. What we are looking for is for a postdoc with two years of experience that really will act as a bridge a bridge between Israel, because our project is an outgoing plus return. So a bridge with Israel, where we will work in the nanotechnology as a tool to improve the delivery system that we already have a gate to brain. And in this bridge, he will be there, he or she will be there in Israel for one year and then have the opportunity to go back to Barcelona and see how it evaluates the compounds developed in Israel, how they are evaluated here in Barcelona in a pediatric hospital such as San Juan de Deu. Here in this pediatric hospital, we will have in vitro and in vivo models of the different tumors that we will try to fight. So in fact, we are looking for this bridge, not this person that will, will join the, the multidisciplinary team of Gate to Brain. We are a small company that we, we have from business to production to oncologies to nanotechnology. So it's to enrich this scenario that where we are trying to grow and to have an opportunity to fight these pediatric tumors. And that's what we are asking for someone with an experience in nanotechnology, in production and characterization, especially to, to, to bring some expertise to the Technion University in Israel where the, where the first year will be there. And then back in Barcelona, um, he, will have the, he or she will have the opportunity to, to work with animals and to learn a lot about the evaluation tools to know if the candidate is better using technolo nanotechnology compared to the one that we are in the preclinical development. So if you find that you are the right bridge, so please join us. Thank you very much, Mary Che. Okay, for presenting your project. So uh, let's go to the last one in, in this section. Uh, I will give the floor to Carla Selma uh, from Chemos. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, I am Carla Selma from, uh, from Chemos. I'm the scientific director. Uh, Chemos is a private company located in the, the Parc Tecnològic del Vallès in Cerdanyola, close to Barcelona, with two subsidiaries, Pharma Progress in Ancona, Italy, and Prolitic in Frankfurt, Germany. We are dedicated to the development of services for R&D and quality control of synthetic drugs and biologicals. Specifically, specifically for biologicals, we have wide experience in recombinant proteins and heparin-related glycosaminoglycans. Also for biologics, we have, we have a, a wide range of classical state-of-the-art technologies like LCM, SMS, capillary electrophoresis, immunological techniques, cell-based assay, quantitative PCR, etc. The objective of the project is to establish the assays required for advanced therapies, medicinal products, ITMP, focus in two prioritary areas that are gene therapy and cell therapy. Uh, the objective is based in the technologies available and chemos, at chemos and in prolytic and new ones that could be incorporated, <clears throat> the researcher will develop a size 
For the characterization of the protein capsid of the carrier virus, the DNA cargo and cell properties. Assays related to the protein cells will be done at chemos, and the DNA related activities will be done at Prolytic Germany. The candidate will develop new assays during two years of the grant with a projection of the future in the company because chemos is strongly committed to develop the analytical platform to support the needs of this emerging sector. The candidate will hold a PhD in experimental or an experimental master degree with an old research experience in biology, biotechnology, biochemistry, organic chemistry, etc. Uh, a good knowledge of advanced experimental techniques, both in equipment and also in cell, cells and the typical acti activity in laboratory analysis and science, ability to work independently and in collaboration with multidisciplinary international teams. Knowledge in gen and cell therapies will be desirable, but is not mandatory because this is a very specific field. And depending the experience in this field of the researcher, the format of the project could be incoming or in outgoing and return. In this last case, an international recognized expert center in this uh, ATMP will be identified uh, and uh, to agree with this laboratory, uh, one year of training period of the researcher. Okay. Uh, basically, these are the, the, the requirement and uh, the, the activity uh, of the, the, the activity will be done between mainly in, in the center of Barcelona, but uh, will be also done in the uh, prolytic uh, site. And if you have questions, so feel free to ask. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos. So uh, now I will stop sharing for a while and then the presenters will come with me to the screen. And now it's time for your researchers attending to the event to raise your questions. Uh, here we have one question for Santi Segui. I it's already answered, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it is a mistake. I don't see that. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So I don't know if any other researcher has uh, any question for the project is presented already. I think there's a yeah. question for at Q and A. There's a question for Git to Brain. If I'm not wrong, yeah. I don't know if I can see and answer it. Yeah, I try. Okay, so yeah. someone is that. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I'm doing a live. So yeah, the kind of nanoparticles or nanocarriers we are using, a, it's not metal nanoparticles. So we are more in the in in pep. In, Organic nanoparticles, let's put it like this. But one of the one of the aims is that really this 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 postdoctoral position, uh, this technique technique spring position, um, brings the knowledge and ideas and really create a, this nano system and how nanotechnology can improve that, but not in the metallic field. Thank you very much, Mary Che. Yeah, I don't know if there is any other question for those interesting projects tracking uh, many, many technologies and also potential illness. Okay, so at this moment, there are no more questions. If uh, there is any other question, of course, researchers, you can write it. And, and then of course, we can, we can give you the contact of presenters in order you can yeah, get in touch, okay? So thank you very much, presenters of this section of health and life sciences. And I will I will start sharing again. And let's go to the section two. Yeah. Where okay. So now is the turn of the area of chemistry, energy, and resources. And I think that the first presenter, 
Rivas from Litme. So Jordi, when you want to go ahead. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm uh, Bernard Verde, the CTO and the co-founder of uh, Litme. Uh, we'd like to briefly present you uh, the Leadme project. Leadme was born to open and make more efficient and accessible the freight transport sector for everyone. It has been operating since uh, 2019, helping its customers to manage their shipment and carriers to locate load. Now we want to evolve and to improve the efficiency and work methodology of car carriers. This is the reason why we want to develop and to include uh, new tracking route planning and load optimizer pro project. Our goal is for carriers to have tools to allow them to optimize their work and for customers to have control of their goods. Uh, our, um, one of our key goals uh, are to eliminate incomplete loadings and avoid the return of empty vehicles at the end of their delivery routes and the abusive rates of traditional transport company, eliminate, inter eliminate intermediary that make transport more, more expensive, and um, share uh, existing transport transportation route to make the sector more efficient and unleashed. The, the service uh, offered by Leanme is only to um, a free online marketplace with an app and a website and the, we want to connect customers who need to transport their mer merchandise with carriers who want to complete their loads. So we are, we are looking for, for our uh, project, uh, Track and Trust pro project. In order to start our new uh, um, Track and Trust, we need to collaborate with a geolocali geolocalization system development specialist. We want to bring to the market a tool at a very competitive price intended for carriers to be more efficient in their work. To help carriers, we want to develop system for locating, tracing, and optimizing, optimizing loads, and a delivery planner for the collection and delivery of shipments. With this feature, uh, we help hauliers to be more efficient, optimizing their time, reducing their fuel cost, and therefore the CO2 emission produced by their vehicles. So we're looking at an engineer or um, a PhD specialized uh, with a track and tracking system. And uh, we hope uh, our project um, will interest you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so now it's the turn of Esther uh, Alpha from Trellum Technologies. Thank you very much, Esther. Thank you, Natalia. Um, well, I'm, I'm Mr. Alza, I'm the CEO of one of the co-founder of Trillium Technologies. Trillium Technologies is a really young company. We started in July last year and we are a technology-based company uh, with the intention of commercializing QTNH technology solutions and equipment for scientific instrumentation, mainly focused for chemistry research in all the, the fields, especially in photochemistry, electrochemistry, catalysis, flow chemistry, and, and synthesis in, in general, chemical synthesis. Uh, we started, uh, well, we are a spin off company from the Institute of Chemical Research of Catalonia, uh, in, that is in Tarragona right now. And uh, we started because uh, already we are almost all the founders are chemists and we uh, started to see that there are a lack of equipment that we can like trust in reproducibility and also in scal scalability, mainly as is our first reactor that is in photochemistry. So right now we are starting our activity with this uh, first photo uh, photoparallel reactor, but we want to increase uh, our portfolio because we have uh, some patents and also some many other ideas to this. And we want to, to uh, start with the part of the automatization and uh, robotics in this area of chemistry. So for that, the project is mainly basically uh, focused in developing uh, new prototypes, like 2.0 or even uh, 3.0 of our reactor, trying to scale up this photo, uh, photochemistry starting. 
point and also adding some peripherals and um, and equipment uh, to, to increase the potency of, of this reactor. The research pro profile that we are looking for, well, the first part is that we are uh, thinking in an incoming modality. So to start here, uh, the researcher to be in two years with us, with a degree, at least a degree in electronic engineering or PhD is also uh, a plus, with really uh, experience in the design and development of, of embedded uh, microcontroller, but also the, the design of uh, dig digital circuits, firmware, uh, microprocessors, uh, serial communications, and also Python, um, robotics, and 3D printing design. This knowledge is also uh, uh, the, the suitable for us. But also, since we are really young, we, we are looking for uh, an open mind research, an open mind person, flexible with a bit of uh, entrepreneurial soul that wants to, to grow with, with, uh, with us no? as a company that is growing to be part of, of this. So many thanks. Thank you very much, Esther. Okay, so now is the turn of Jordi Cusido of Smartiv. Hello, nice to meet you all. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. This is not me, that presentation, but okay. Uh, I'm Jordi Cusido, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Smartive, and we are looking for a passionate, outstanding researcher or engineer with experience on research, capable to handle uh, an enormous challenge. And which is that challenge? Well, we develop software to monitor, diagnose, and prognose renewable energy assets, starting with wind turbines. So that means SCADA data, that means real data working with uh, big clients such as Acciona, such as EDPR, such as NG, EDF worldwide with plants located worldwide, once in Canada and others in Costa Rica, Brazil, Australia, everywhere, different climatology. And we try to develop unique algorithms to predict those failures. How? By working mainly with unsupervised and semi-supervised algorithms. And why we are using that? Because the previous eight years, we researched on supervised, semi-supervised, and we understood that the best approach together with our researchers is to go for a an understanding for an interpretable results uh, on, on that analytics. So we are looking for one researcher and engineer capable to handle the uh, challenge of working with a small team located in Europe. So we do have people in, 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 in Deutschland, people in Italy, people located here in Barcelona. So we are distributed, collaborating with the Fraunhofer in, in, in Germany, with the UPC in Catalonia, with the UBIC in Catalonia, with researchers almost distributed in Europe. So we try to join a group together for a two-year work, working on Python, MySQL, open source Docker, and um, on supervised and semi-supervised. And we do have, I do have the, uh, the opportunity to present today two projects. And we do have also a new project related with working orders and text mining analysis. That second project is located in the same idea. So all we try to find ways to predict failures, ways to optimize operations, ways to optimize performance and control of wind turbines and renewable energy assets. So we are looking for an outstanding researcher, a passionate researcher, a person who is capable to handle complicated uh, challenges in order to give us clues to label perfectly the failure, to label perfectly what is occurring on a wind farm, on a renewal installation 
in order to know what's going on on the turbine, what's going on on a solar planet, what's going on on that planet. This, uh, this activity is key for the other algorithms. It's part and he will be or she will be working together with that team, working with the data architects, working with the, the data analyst on the scatter data and on high frequency data, same technologies, same Python, same MySQL, same Mongo, same Ubuntu, everything open source. And that person will join that team, multidisciplinary, disgregated, and but very cohesive together to beat that challenge. Working together with client, with real data, working together with research, and hopefully publishing on journals and contributing to increase his or her experience on research, technology transfer, and entrepreneurship. So we look for outstanding, passionate, entrepreneurial, and, uh, and, uh, and happy people. So thank you very much. And uh, hope I can respond to any question in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jordi, for your presentation and for looking for happy people. This is very, very nice of you. Yeah. So now let's give the floor to Pablo Rodriguez from Indresmat. Pablo, go ahead, please. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm Pablo, I'm the founder of Indresmat. Indresmat is a chemical startup that uh, is uh, active in the polyurethane insulating products. So we are uh, facing the most important challenge ever with the climate change. And what we do is to provide highly energy efficient products with, with reduced carbon footprint in order to improve the thermal efficiency of building and houses. We are in the, in the sector of chemistry, energy and resources, and we are dealing with advanced materials. Our project for, for the researcher is to develop bio-based formulations of polyurethane. We make all of our products, uh, which are uh, Climapur, is a, a highly energy efficient frame for windows and doors. And we have also a special insulating foam, which is uh, which the main uh, feature is the, the safety in case of fire. So with two products, we cover 100% of the thermal envelope of buildings. And what we do, as I told you, is we are reducing the carbon footprint introduced bio-based raw materials. The ideal candidate should have uh, more or less uh, experience in, in polymers, especially in polyurethane. Also, it's important to have uh, industrial background, so he must understand what's behind uh, the, the production, the, also the, how the machines work, and also a process to manufacture products. Also, it's important to have this uh, research background, basic research in, in the lab, but it's interesting that it has some experience on uh, production, maybe quality, so this is more or less what we are looking for. The background of the researcher should be chemist, polymer chemist, or materials engineer. We don't discard any uh, type of uh, education, but uh, the experience will be great if it's closely closely related to to the uh, to the polyurethane industry. Uh, we also are looking for happy people. Yeah, it's very important to have a, a very good attitude and also to be stay, uh, positive think, thinking because. At the end, uh, this job is, 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 is made of uh, passion. Uh, this is the most important thing that the, 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 the researcher has uh, to, to do with our company. So I invite you to get in touch with us. And also, if you have any question, please uh, just uh, tell us because uh, we are here to, to answer all your queries. Thank you very much, Pablo, for your presentation. So yeah, let's see if the researchers today are less shy and they start asking for questions. Uh, meanwhile, we will uh, go to the next presentation and the last one of this section. Uh, Manel San Martí from Bamboo Energy, it's your turn. Thank you very much. Hello to everyone. Nice to meet so many happy people today. It's about happiness. Uh, I don't, okay, now I see my slide. Yeah, excellent. 
So, yeah, I present uh, our proposal. Uh, I, uh, I'm Manuel San Martí, as I said, a co founder of Bamboo Energy. Bamboo Energy is a quite recent created a startup company coming from the Catalonia Institute for Energy Research. So, basically, we have been working uh, five, six years already developing uh, uh, algorithms for energy management. And we decided to create a company one year ago, and that's what we did. Uh, our proposal is basically uh, our product is a platform to manage and monetize energy flexibility, which is uh, one of the drivers of the energy transition, taking into account uh, the carbonization, decentralization, digitalization of the energy sector, that, which is having all around, especially in Europe. And out of that, it created uh, this opportunity. And we are basically uh, trying to commercialize this platform, which is basically uh, managing uh, flexibility and a uh, working uh, solution for uh, independent aggregators. Uh, our proposal is basically, we are a double, let's say a, a double oriented company. We work a lot uh, on energy. It's our main field of uh, activity, but our expertise is in ICT technologies. So basically computing, optimization, artificial intelligence. So uh, it's two sides of the company. Uh, and basically we propose a, a, a project working on flexible energy communities. It's one of the trending topics of the sector today. So how to develop uh, energy communities, local energy communities. Our platform is already commercial today. So we are implementing pilots, but the idea is to increase the capabilities by boosting energy communities, which may enable in the future maximum cooperation between uh, prosumers or even flexumers, which means uh, putting the energy consumer in the middle of the, of the system it's uh, not the classic system anymore. It's just putting uh, the final consumer at the, at the center. Uh, for that, uh, we offer a very challenging uh, pro uh, project uh, to develop and to increase the capabilities of our platform and to participate, to make these uh, communities, social communities on, on energy markets. And for that, we are looking for a postdoc um, or even a senior engineer on computer science or information systems with a specific background and experience in blockchain uh, engineering and artificial intelligence. And especially if you could have some complementary uh, background experience in energy systems, distributed energy resources, and in general energy sector could be uh, uh, excellent for us. So that's all from my side, willing to answer you any questions you may have, or you can contact me to the contact details that you will have in the in the presentation and the documentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Manel, for your presentation. Very clear. So now we will proceed the same as before. I will stop sharing. And let's see if any of the researchers has a question for the presenter of the second area. And there is a question here for Indra's map. So Xavier Castelli is asking, regarding the project related with Indra's map, what would the candidate be expected to know about polyurethanes? What would be his role or her role and duty on this job offer? So, yeah, Pablo, if you want to, to yeah. answer. Uh, well, um, the most important thing is they, 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 they need to know how to formulate polyurethanes. Polyurethane is a, is a resin uh, made out of two components. So we, we investigate the market uh, the type of companies that are already commercial in the market, we uh, then order these components and we try in the lab making these formulations. We say that we are doing uh, this material development. Uh, we don't develop materials itself in the raw materials. We take them from the market, uh, especially coming from biobase. So we, let's say that in the lab, the researcher has to uh, prepare these formulations, test them, and when they are ready to, to, when they meet more or less the requirements that we, that we have, then we can shift into the less, into the upscale, um, to a scale in the pilot plant. So we test at pilot, uh, pilot level, and afterwards uh, we make a pilot production of these uh, materials uh, with the developed formulation. So at the end, we cover more or less from the research on the lab to the manufacturing in the plant. Okay, thank you very much, Pablo. Yep, I don't know if there is any other question or any comment that presenters want to, uh, to add to your project. Feel free to do it.
Yeah. Okay. So it seems it's everything very, very clear. There are no questions on the uh, as I told you before, you will have the possibility later on to get in touch if, if many questions arise after the event, okay? So thank you very much to the presenters in this section two of chemistry, energy and resources. And I will share my screen again and let's start with the section three. There has been a question, sorry, for ah, the okay. lead me. Yeah. Okay, so you can go ahead. Yes. They are, yeah, they are asking you if yeah. any. See, si Kehin Adewale Adesina is asking if any specific optimization tool is required at Leadme. Um, well, uh, we we can we can create our. Um, our own algorithm, but yes, we we're going we're going to need to optimize. But I, I I'm not I'm I'm afraid not understanding very uh, well the the great question. Uh, and optimization tools. Um, what we were we are talking we are to, to talking about um, a pro, a pro programming tools so or I, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know if the researcher can add some more information to the question. Yes, please. Um, I can explain more uh, what, what we, we need. Huh? Uh, this is a geolocalization system and a track and trust system for cargoes. So we need we need to, to use um, smartphone apps and um, a client server system, of course, and create uh, our own algorithm to optimize the, the loading of different um, car carrier. Uh, it can be uh, uh, trucks, it can be a uh, plane or ship. Uh, and we, we will use also uh, GPS. Uh, mm -hmm. So we need um, an engineer or PhD on a structure. We, we, we know uh, how to in interface such uh, technology with our, um, with our app. I hope. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. I hope uh, the research is now ready. Yeah, yeah. let's see if not, uh, you'll have the possibility later on to, to add further information, okay? Thank you very much, Jordi and Bernard. So yeah, if there, there is an, yeah. Okay, so Kehin okay, thanks you, the answer. Okay, so. Um, let's start with the next uh, section. Okay, so now the turn for presenters uh, who has projects in sustainable mobility. Okay, we will start in a moment. So the first presenter would be Andrea De Luca from Perfit Engineering. Andrea, the floor is yours. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I don't know if we have here, Andrea. Okay. If no, if it's okay, we can we can start with the next one. Xavier Rivas from Evarm. If you are here, you can start your presentation if you want. Okay, I think there is a little bit of mess right now. Andrea, you can you can start with your presentation if you are here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, 
the floor is yours. I open the presentation. Okay, FuturFit is, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, yeah, I'm trying. Okay, okay, the pre presentation. Okay, FuturFit, FuturFit is a, um, first I would like to introduce the company. FuturFit is a mechanical engineering and product design company, Lopugat. And we, uh, our project is to design a bike transmission uh, for LA and city bikes. Uh, the objective is design, optimize, uh, design and optimize a bicycle transmission made of gears, made of uh, poly plastic material. Uh, and, and so the, the research that you are looking the PhD that we are looking is should be should have good knowledge in mechanical design, uh, gear gear design, uh, gear design uh, so good uh, skills of solid works, and and also of finite element calculation calculate the um, frame of the bicycle. Uh, mainly, mainly the work will be this it will be the design with all the components all the mechanical component uh, do the calculation of the of the transmission of the gears do the uh, do do also the make the prototype test the prototype uh, do the the analysis uh, structure analysis of the frame of the bike uh, design a tool to test the mission and coordinate the manufacturing. And, uh, and, this, and this is, so this is, we are looking for mainly an, an expert in gear design, gear and transmission design, and with good skills in solid works. And mainly what we are looking for. And uh, so, Please, if you want to have, if you have some question, go ahead and ask. Okay, thank you very much, Andrea, for your presentation. Uh, three minutes is still, uh, you have a still spare time. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you want, yeah, we cannot hear you, Andrea, so sorry, because you are mute already, yeah. <laughs> And so, mainly, the skills we're looking for are gear design, mechanical mm -hmm. engineering, and solid works. Yep. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think it's clear the the profile of the researcher that you are looking for. Okay. So thank you very much, Andrea. Yeah. Let's go to the next presentation. Uh, Xavier Rivas of Evarn. Yeah, I don't know if Xavier is here. It doesn't seem so. Okay. So probably we can try with Antonio La Laguna from Aziza. Yes. Yes. Hello. Okay. Don't yes, hello, good afternoon. Thank you very much. And a pleasure to be here. And thanks to, to Aziza for, for the opportunity. I'm a CTO in, in Aziza. Aziza is a, a, a technology company inside a, a bigger group called Aldesa Group, that is a, a constructor company with more than 30 years uh, of, of, of experience of, of life. And is one of the, of, the, of the biggest construction group here in Spain and one of the biggest also in the world. Uh, uh, from Aziza, we developed several, several uh, the technology projects, uh, sometimes in hand with Aldesa, sometimes by our own, because we apply to several public tenders, uh, mostly in Europe and South America to develop uh, different engineering projects from ITS to energy to automation, uh, etc. Um, uh, we also have our own products that, that we install in some of these projects. For example, we have our own traffic light controller and we have our own smart city cloud platform. 
so the project that we that we are offering here and 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 the way we want to to, to announce is regarding the uh, a new a new a new you know, a new model we are doing with our traffic light control that we we want to we want it to to be embed uh, with the new uh, technology related to b2x and 5g technology and also uh, it to be integrated with a uh, uh, we be integrated with uh, the, the cloud, the cloud, uh, or cloud computing. I'm sorry, I see that a little bit strange. And to be integrated with our all comp uh, cloud computing platform for for smart city. So it's a, I think it's a a, a big opportunity to research it uh, with a mix, you no know, mix mix background uh, between telco and software development because we. Uh, sorry, this is not my slide. Oh, this is um, uh, our research with uh, with a background also in in, in B two X stack and in five G uh, in five G technology and protocols uh, because what we want is to to integrate our developments are both the cloud computing and the and the and the traffic light controller inside the uh, the, the new paradigm in five G and and, and B two X so it's also need a little bit of experience in in simulation. In simulation, both in in traffic simulation and, and networking simulation, with a sumo on a, on a map, uh, in order to to put that in in, in real project, we, we want to to take this all these standards and this development that has been done some pilots so far, but put that in real projects right now because we in some of the projects we are applying uh, around the, well, Europe or, or smart or or South America, they are already asking for us to, to implement some B2X, uh, some of the B2X services. Uh, so so uh, oh, my, my time is gone, sorry. Yeah, is if you gone? want to add something else, Antonio, uh, you can. No, no, that, that's it. I just, just to, just to, just to point it out that it's a, a, a big opportunity for a researcher that has already some, some space on that to, to put the knowledge in on real, on real big projects. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, you very much. Yeah. Okay, so now it's the turn of Miquel Garcia of Rokugum. Mm -hmm. Hi. Miquel, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you put my slide, I'll start or. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am Mikhail Garcia. I'm the technical lead of the of and co-founder of Rokubun, which is a small company uh, based in Barcelona. Um, and Rokubun was born in 2015 as part of the uh, European Space Agency incubation program of startups. And uh, what we basically do at Rokubun is to develop affordable and accurate uh, navigation solutions. Um, by accurate means um, accuracy of on the meter level and affordable mean, means uh, so that they are um, low cost so that they are scalable. So and in this sense, we are working with verticals such as um, LBS, meaning smartphone and mobile devices. We are also pushing the technology towards automotive as well, um, but we also cover other um, technologies or other verticals that require um, affordable uh, navigation solutions, like for instance, uh, drone operations, where you uh, require a high accuracy, but a, a reasonable cost. Uh, so that's what we do. We have uh, currently um, a service, which is basically um, uh, a GPS pro uh, data processing service in the cloud, uh, that it's mostly targeted for drones, but we, we plan it to ex expand to other verticals. And also we are uh, usual contractors of the European Space Agency, plus we have also a couple of grants uh, from the European Commission uh, that uh, just started. Um, those grants basically deal with the um, achieving high accuracy into mobile devices. Um, that's actually part of the of the project. So we don't really have a, a project per se at Rokubun for the Technosprint. It's more um, it's more a context. So that's what we can offer. What we would like to do in Rokubun, and that's what we are applying in Technospring, is basically uh, someone that helps helps us push forward the the technology 
to achieve high accuracy into um, into mobile devices such as uh, smartphones, right? So smartphones have a certain um, challenges in terms of, of data and also different opportunities, like um, they, they have access to, to other uh, positioning or potentially positioning sensors like Wi-Fi or 5G or, um, or um, inertial measure, measurement units. So we want someone that is able to push the technology forward to merge uh, GPS with all these other sensors to achieve uh, high accuracy on mobile devices. So what we are looking for is basically, is basically someone that holds uh, a PhD uh, in a STEM discipline, uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and that has to some extent a certain degree of understanding of what GNSS is or GPS and, and knows satellite navigation. And also we want someone that um, knows what is uh, statistical modeling and, and filtering. And ideally uh, that someone should be someone that is already uh, proficient to some degree to programming languages. Um, we at, at Rokubun work with C and Python. So it would be uh, lovely to have those, uh, those on board. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Miguel, for your presentation. And now it's the turn of Laura Moreno from Earth Pools. It's over okay. you, Laura. Okay, let's uh, start. Uh, let's put the slide of Earth Pools if you can, please, Natalia. Okay, yeah, can you see your slide? No, I can't, but well, if it's there and everyone can see it, maybe the connection, I'll start off. Okay, so my name is Laura Moreno and uh, I'm the Sion founder of Earth Pulse. Earth Pulse is a company which is uh, working with satellite images, okay? So Earth observation data and whose mission is to provide to the industry with the tools and libraries to use satellite data as another data source. Satellite data is now big data, okay? but it's not really used in the industry. And why isn't really used? Well, because it's complex mainly, it's multidimensional, it's multi-temporal, multi-angular, multi-sensor and multi-everything, and it's a complex data that normally programmers or AI people or data science in general don't know really how to process and extract the value. So our main uh, mission is this one, to provide to the industry with those tools to exploit the real value of this data, okay? So we're working with the European Space Agency. We're working with some clients already here in Barcelona. We have been founded in uh, July of this year. We are five people now working, uh, three of us in Barcelona and all the people it's located in Paris and Madrid. Okay, so what we are looking for, it's basically a multidisciplinary, I mean, a uh, someone which is a PhD and a STEM discipline, which is able to work in, in a multidisciplinary team because uh, we are people from sat with satellite background, people with a pure AI background and people with product and business background, okay? So um, this is mainly all the project that we have now. It's uh, well, the development of uh, building block modules to provide um, these libraries and these tools. What it's, for example, well, a data set for unsupervised pre-trained neural networks or a big data set for data fusion, or for example, a big data set for multitask learning or for transfer learning. Also, archive of pre-trained neural networks for earth observation data or an automated or the second version of the automated uh, leveling tool, okay? so. We need someone which is fluent in Python and uh, has familiarity with databases, experience in machine learning and deep learning, mainly in PyTorch. And uh, well, experience with PyTorch package and libraries is very much valuable in general. So, well, that's it. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much, Laura, for your explanation. Yeah, and now the turn of Xavier uh, Rivas of Ebal. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Oh. Go ahead, Xavier, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Natalia. Hello, everyone. Well, um, 
I'm Chavez Rivas, I'm CEO of EBARM. EBARM is uh, from last year is first OEM producing uh, hydrogen trucks in our country. And we are mainly on the sustainable mobility field um, because of our future outlook and targets. Uh, we are focusing our efforts on disruptive technology and zero emission vehicles with uh, high advanced manufacturing uh, technology to the additive manufacturing. So at the moment we are looking at uh, the development of uh, new key systems such as fuel cell, balance of plan, or the electric uh, powertrain of the, of the trucks. So for that, um, we are very interested to develop our own powertrain with our own fuel cell. Uh, and therefore, we, we, we are looking for the researchers profile, which is experience in, in fuel cells with uh, polymeric exchange membranes, both in design and, and development. Uh, to obtain a, a new uh, development for, for much better efficiency and cost reduction to, to allow that our trucks are in the, in the best uh, position when, when the hydrogen uh, market uh, is boosted. Um, actually, we have already some prototypes. We are already very close to the market with some vehicles. Um, some projects with Axio and some projects with the European Commission. But uh, in this field, we are uh, discussing about new innovative concepts with uh, a deep impact. And, and well, mainly we are looking for very high skilled experts um, that they want to work on a multicultural environment here in, in Samboy, where we have our research center with uh, the chassis dyno, where the prototypes are built, and with all the people from design and development is, is working every day. Um, basically, we are open to, to this position. And well, we mainly for us, it's very important that they have the, the previous experience and they want to develop a very technical and research activity on, on the polymeric, on the bipolar plates, etc. And well, that's all mainly. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you very much, Xavier. Okay, yeah, I hope that most of the researchers that are here, they have this kind of uh, open-minded research and technical background that all of you are looking for. Okay, so yeah, I will stop sharing right now and let's see if any of the researchers and has any question? I think that one of the presenters of this section has left the meeting. So I will kindly ask to the rest of presenters not to leave before the questions of researchers, just in case some of them want to, yeah, to tell you something. So, yeah, I don't know if any of the presenters would like to add anything to, to the project presentation. Yeah, there's, there, Laura, there's something yeah. that I forgot to say is that we have an agreement with, with the European Space Agency and the researcher that is finally joining here could be having some small stages of uh, visiting periods, small visiting periods in ESA, which is a very um, good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. So remember the researchers, you can go ahead like writing your questions in the Q&A system for this third block of sustainable mobility. Okay. So it doesn't seem there is any question. Uh, I would like to thank you all the presenters of this uh, of this section and yeah I hope that if there are more questions later on we'll have the possibilities to to put you in touch okay so thank you very much uh, now let's start 
with the last presentation, last section. Yeah, and uh, this one will be dedicated to the industrial systems and industries of design. Okay, so we can start with uh, Ubert Vaz from Mitiga Solutions. If you're here, you can go ahead. Hubert, I don't know if it's uh, here. Okay, Andres, since you are here, if you want, you can start with your presentation from Mitiga Solutions as well. Um, just give me uh, 30 seconds because we are we are talking with him and I think he has some technical problems. Uh, yeah. But well, um, sure. okay, let's see. Well, uh, in any case, I can start. Yes, um, have a problem. Uh, so, well, um, well, it's, it was planned that uh, Hubert will present uh, first our well, the company, so I can give um, a brief sneak peek of it. Uh, maybe when he joins, uh, we can resume it later. So here at Vitiga Solutions, we are a spin-off of the National Supercomputing Center, the National Supercomputing Center, and basically what we do is, uh, well, we harness supercomputing, uh, to help uh, mitigate the impact of natural hazards. Okay, so apart from the position uh, that Hoover will be ad uh, advertising, we have an additional and very interesting opportunity here. So although it's very close to to that one, uh, this one is very focused on the specific hazard of wildfires from a very technical point of view. So wildfires is one of the main product lines here at Mitiga. We develop uh, disruptive solutions and services that cover the whole cycle of risk, including uh, well the, the preventive side, the reactive side, and also the impact assessment. So we are focused, although we are focused on, on insure tech products, we also work with government and humanitarian institutions. So we look for candidates with strong technical background that will take mostly on two aspects. First of all, the support to the software development of the different tools and microservices involved uh, in the entire workflow of the Mitiga Fire System. That is from high performance data acquisition to GIS post processing, including uh, optimization of code to running high performance computing environments. And secondly, the analysis on, of input and output data, meaning that we are always scrutinizing the the state of the art regarding potential input data sources uh, that may help us refine our, our processes. And we also are continuously dealing with the ideation of new products that we could prepare based on our outputs. So of course, due to these timing restrictions, uh, this is a very wide description uh, that compresses many skills, but don't worry about that. If you, if you think that you could really fulfill some of these requirements and, and are interested and excited about improving what you might consider your weak points uh, regarding this description, uh, just keep in mind that the must-have uh, requirements we have regarding experience and hard skill, they just come down to this view. Uh, experience in dealing with your physical models, preferably fire spread models, experience in executing workloads in, in HPC or cloud computing environments, strong programming skills, preferably in Python or C, C++ or R, uh, some experience with data analytics, and also some experience with GIS tools and libraries such as GDAL. So at Mitiga, you'll find a, a young, open, and very dynamic uh, team and a place where you'll be continuously 
finding new demanding challenges and pushing low TRLs from the research field to high TRLs for the final market. So, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and we look forward to your applications. Thank you very much, Andres. Okay, so I think we're it right now here. Yeah, you can explain the other project of Mythica Solutions. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, sorry, there was a bit of a technical hiccup. I don't know what it was at the beginning. Um, yeah, uh, and, and thanks, Andres, for, for covering this. I'm not going to have to go into Mitiga again. Um, yeah, the other project that we have is um, around catastrophe modeling for the insurance industry. Um, where we're coming from is that, you know, in a, in a climate change impacting world where we do risk analysis, historically data is important but we shouldn't base all our um, tools and all our applications on historical data anymore because it's just not appropriate so mitiga has this forward-looking modeling products that solve that issue and we're mainly relating this to weather hazards so-called in the industry for insurance secondary perils and there's wildfire as andres has just said but we're also dealing with severe convective storms, extreme precipitation, extreme temperature. And um, we have a multi-hazard risk management platform. It's called Hazard Aware, where we combine all this. So we combine scientific hazard expertise, which is you know, what we're reaching out to for uh, you, those uh, researchers that uh, are trying to, to join us. We're hopeful, we're hopeful there. But there's also artificial intelligence, there's remote sensing, um, there's high performance computing. And, you know, um, these all, we put those together in order to help our clients tackle the world's, you know, most complex risks, really. Um, coming a bit more to, you know, the researcher itself and how it fits in, the way we envisage this is that the researcher really sits at, at the heart of product development um what i mean with this is that the product you will own a product so let's say uh, in the example of uh, severe convective storms we need somebody who has an extremely good hazard background of how to apply his knowledge he will therefore have uh, the science uh, which he will come involved in the product development cycle in the innovation part in the product discovery and he will sign off because he will be the one who says, okay, scientifically, this is the state of the art and this is what we want to do. Then at the same time, he will be talking to the technical uh, side of our company with the HPC, uh, with all the programming, with all the modeling. And then on top of that, he will be involved and he will be the face uh, as well within the insurance. So he will also see um, the clients on that side. So it's a very versatile piece of uh, job offer that we have and you know we're really looking forward to see people interested in this and and bring in all their heart and passion to it because uh, that's what all the other 25 members of Mitiga are doing so we're hoping to hear from you soon thank you thank you very much Hubert okay so let's go to the next presentation. Uh, in this case, will be Pera Padros from Kifnon. Pera, the floor is yours. Uh, hello, everyone. Everyone, thank you, Axio, for inviting us to to this uh, event. And I would like to say hello as well to to the, to the other people just presenting and to people listening. Um, we are a mobile robot manufacturer here in Barcelona. If you buy anything from Amazon or similar place, uh, do you know the little robots that move around the warehouses? We build that kind of robots, okay? Uh, we were born in 2010 and we have been 10 years in the automotive industry mainly. Uh, we have our own product, our own R&D department. We design, manufacture and commercialize our own solutions. We are a 200 people company mostly engineers from 17 different nationalities. We have manufactured more than 2,000 robots. These robots move around factories and they, they transport goods from warehouses to the production line. Okay. 
and about the about the project and the researcher. This, we are looking for researchers who, who love applied technology. Uh, our target is to develop and implement our own navigation software. Uh, we are currently using Islam algorithms in order to do so, but they have some 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 things that we have we must we must solve, and we have our own ideas in order to develop this this new navigation software. Uh, we are looking for a researcher who has a strong technical profile, who also loves robots, uh, who thinks they are the future, and that uh, can um, collaborate in a multidisciplinary environment. Uh, this researcher will not be alone in the project. We are also collaborating with the technological center. So the researcher should coordinate his or her efforts with a, a, killed, a team of high skilled personnel. And uh, the target of the project at the end of the two years is to have a mobile robot just uh, moving around with the new software. So, uh, it has a very, a very practical approach. For the last 30 seconds, I would like to say that uh, if you don't want to come with us, with Kidnan, you can check our robots at kidnan.com. Please go to Mitiga project, the previous one, because I really like it, uh, her approach. Their approach is really, really interesting. And I think that we should support projects like that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pera, for your presentation. You, okay. <laughs> yeah, for allusiones. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, now is the turn of Gerardo Bader from Societat Organica. The floor is yours, Gerardo. Uh, thank you, Natalia. I, I hope you, you hear me uh, clearly. Yes, you confirm this? Okay. So, ah, uh, my, my uh, screen now. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to uh, Axio and uh, all the participants uh, uh, who are here uh, for this opportunity um, in order to present uh, our company project and the candidate uh, for uh, this uh, call, uh, Technics uh, Spring. Um, uh, we are a, a cooperative uh, um, company established uh, since 2004 uh, with uh, uh, um, an experience, especially uh, in uh, uh, environmental uh, aspects of sustainability uh, studies uh, in the building sector. We work uh, usually with uh, real developers, uh, architects, uh, designers, uh, public administration, um, professional associations, uh, and uh, other stakeholders of uh, the, the sector in order to help uh, them uh, to uh, minimize environmental impacts uh, in uh, their uh, projects. This is to, to talk about uh, uh, building uh, uh, in a process and uh, uh, construction uh, process, or uh, for example, uh, standards or studies or uh, real and development um, uh, projects. Uh, we uh, um, usually um, uh, do uh, or develop uh, in collaboration uh, with the universities or other uh, institutions. Um, our idea uh, here is uh, uh, to uh, uh, extend our services and our vision and uh, also uh, the research uh, activities uh, in our uh, own environment to the urban uh, scale. And uh, thinking in mind, uh, thinking about uh, uh, climate uh, change in the future, especially in the Mediterranean area, uh, the south of uh, Europe, uh, it is uh, very important uh, to uh, uh, predict or to uh, uh, say or um, evaluate uh, the external conditions, not uh, just uh, in order to uh, the external spaces uh, themselves, uh, but uh, thinking about uh, conditions to exchange energy uh, with the, um, uh, the buildings uh, in renovation process or uh, new construction uh, ones. So uh, the research profile is explained here. Uh, it is not a necessary or mandatory condition to have the, the doctorate st studies, but uh, uh, in the relation between urbanism and uh, modeling 
uh, of uh, urban uh, places uh, is very important for us. There is a, a, a person who uh, um, have to work uh, uh, with uh, uh, the um, design uh, aspect and also uh, the computing uh, um, aspect, uh, of course. Work uh, in a team and uh, he can uh, or she can um, be uh, in Barcelona or also uh, working uh, online uh, away. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gerardo. Okay. Thank you very much to all presenters in this last section of industrial systems and uh, design industries. I don't know all researchers, I don't know if any of you have anything else to add to your project, something else that you would like to say. Yeah, let's see, at this moment we have 53 participants listening to us. Um, again, don't be shy. I think, yeah. No, this is very good. I think projects are so clear that there is no doubt about it. I hope all of them will write you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, showing their interest. So yeah, I think we have uh, spare time because then the event was supposed to finish at 6 p.m. But we are really on time, so we can let some minutes if any researcher wants to ask. Anything else? If not, I don't know if any of the presenters that you are here on the screen, do you have any previous experience in Tech Spring or um, I don't know if some of you have already received a fund from Tech Spring or, or if not, I don't know what do you think about the program? Yeah, if you want to give some well, feedback. Well, in, our, in our case, not really with the with specific Tech Spring call but we have some experience with other uh, postdoctoral post calls, such as, well, you know, Torres Quevedo and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So here, as we come from the from a research center, such as the, the, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center, we are very used to dealing with this, uh, this balance between research and, um, Oh, a market, no, and final market. So yes, uh, we we have some experience, not for for this specific call, but, but yes, we we, are, we have experience in dealing with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andres, thank you. And how was it? I mean, uh, your experience, like yeah, including some academic profiles or some researchers into the the startup of or the private market. Well, in our case, um, as I mentioned, uh, given that we have, well, m most of us, in fact, we are we are PhDs, so we come from from the academic field or, or other research fields. So now that we have been struggling for for three years in, in fighting against the market and, and developing real product, real final products for the market. Uh, we know we know well, uh, what the, the usual weaknesses of uh, pure researchers are. Um, we know how to how to transform and to take advantage of them in order to to make the most of our knowledge to, to succeed in the market. So yes, uh, our experience so far has been very good with this. Um, Oh, I consider that uh, this is a very good place to to um, to make this jump from the research to the to the industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I think it's a clear example, not in the spring program of this uh, uh, transfer of technology from and, and start doing more applied research projects. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I don't know if any of you want to add. Something else? Yeah, if not, I think there are no more questions. Uh, yeah, just if you want, I can uh, finish the event. I don't know if any of you uh, want to, to make clear something else. I, yeah, finally, I hope this session 
uh, has answered all your the potential concerns about the vacancies uploaded in the Chinese Spring website for your for researchers. And well, remember that there are a lot more of vacancies, um, even they have not been presented today for obvious reasons of time restrictions, but th there are more vacancies uh, related to other sectors in the in the Chinese Spring website. Um, all the presentations that you have seen today and the recording of the event as well will be available in the YouTube channel of Axio and also in the agenda. In the same website where you did the registration to the event, you will find in the next coming days this recording. And well, we wish you all to the presenters and the researchers very good luck with your applications. And of course, from Axio and especially from the Chinese Spring team members, uh, we want to, yeah, to to remember you that we are at your disposal. Whether if you need further information of the program, uh, whether if you need help finding the right researcher or the foreign entity to to complete your consortium, and remember also that the foreign offices of Axio over the world can guide you in the application process uh, and finding this uh, part of the consortium that it's lacking and hesitate if you. If you're a foreign researcher, to ask us for information. So, yeah, I, I would like to thank you again to all the presenters, to the attendees, and and yeah, I I think that it's time to finish. So yeah, wish you again very good luck and thank you all for coming today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.